friends welcome to my channel salesforce commerce cloud tutorials and today i am going to introduce you the salesforce commerce cloud architecture and how can uh, we use it so uh, first tell me uh, let me tell you about the what is salesforce commerce cloud that is the chapter 1 introduction to salesforce commerce cloud so uh, most of the people have heard about the salesforce so what the salesforce is it's a leading world uh, technology which uh, uh, which seek in the field of customer relationship management and now it has a part salesforce commerce cloud digital which is uh, apparently known as demandware and now it's a part of the salesforce so what the salesforce commerce cloud is it's a cloud based e-commerce platform where we can manage and sell products and it gives us wide of facilities like uh, artificial intelligence based recommendations and uh, and much more things and many of the tweaks are provided by the salesforce so um just uh, let's start the first chapter and let me introduce you the architecture of the sfcc which is salesforce commerce cloud okay so in commerce cloud uh, digital there is a two layer based like uh, uh, each server of our demandware commerce cloud is uh, uh, based on pigs and sigs what the pigs pig is primary instance group primary instance group contains three uh, main uh, three main points like first one is the development so when the server has three parts like first is the development sandbox second one is the staging and third one is the production here in development the developers used to code integrate new features and uh, do all the testing on it like uh, it is the it is the server space where and the instance group where all the development uh, things are done and the second one is the staging in staging we integrate and test uh, like it's a production like it's a replica of production where the all the things are checked by, uh, prior to the final production deployment and the third one is the production which is the uh, presentation of the uh, on the internet like uh, the customers can which uh, really can access the production so these are the three primary instances group of the sfcc which is and the second is the secondary instances group the secondary instances group is uh, the group of sandboxes which developers can use and uh, and just uh, uh, integrate the new features all the uh, update the ui customizations and create new web services and all the development related work is done on the secondary instances group so what is the difference between the development uh, insta development instance of uh, a salesforce commerce cloud and this secondary instance group so on development we just deploy all the things which is finalized and tested by uh, developers and uh, after that merchandisers like who create the uh, discount coupons and uh, and the other things like uh, integrating new features uh, and setting new uh, apis is done on the development server so this is the difference uh, of between the secondary instance group and the development so and the uh, big, uh, related to the commerce cloud server it is highly availability high available architecture and it is based on cloud so all the services are secured by the cloud services so on second chapter i am going to introduce you about the business manager what the business manager is so it's a, as you know it's a paid service like uh, sales it is not a open source first you have to purchase a sandbox of the uh, salesforce commerce cloud then after you are able to uh, access the uh, sorry uh, the voice was gone so once you are uh, able to buy purchase the sandbox then you are able to access it so it is the typical uh, business uh, uh, business manager of the salesforce commerce cloud in you see here we get all the 
list of the sites we have like for a multi regional store if we have three four sites then the list appears here site genesis is the default provided demo store of the salesforce commerce cloud okay and it is the site specific and second one is the site genesis global which is a globally uh, global website like uh, we can customize site genesis for specific regions but site genesis global can be used for the all regions so these are the default provided demo e-commerce stores by salesforce commerce cloud here we see it's a version latest version is 17.6 of salesforce commerce cloud and it provides a new features like new catalog module and uh, many more features we'll be talking later so as you see here we have three options in the menu first one is the merchant tools second one is the administrator and third one is the store front so we will go one by one the first one the merchant tools here we get all the tools of uh, demandware or demandware as salesforce commerce cloud which is related to the merchandising like we can manage contents like static contents and dynamic contents in this option like contents and we can also customize create customers and uh, and we can create all import and export all the customers in this customer section and the third one is the custom objects custom objects is like a database like uh, uh, this uh, as this as you know this is a cloud based uh, uh, e-commerce platform so we cannot access uh, databases directly so if you want to create something and store in the database you can just use the custom objects you can create custom objects and then enter data by uh, customers and you can save into that uh, the fourth option in the first column is the site URLs. You can uh, do all the customizations related to the URLs in this section. Like uh, you can create new URL rules, you can redirect, you can map the, uh, uh, you can do the mapping of the specific keywords to the URL, and also you can customize the CDN. CDN is uh, uh, server-based. Uh, 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 GSS and uh, global uh, global uh, jQuery and the global static media uh, storage. So you can also uh, you can also uh, store uh, CDN settings here, and uh, you can also manage site maps here. And uh, here is a testing tool which is URL request analyzer, which you can use to analyze like how many redirects and how many uh, requests are made among uh, when you request a specific url of the store the second column contains the product and catalogs you can do all the configurations of uh, pro products and catalogs in this section and uh, i will be covering this topic in the in the next videos and the uh, and the second thing is here ordering you can do all the order related customizations in this section like creating payment methods creating shipping methods and all the things in this section also you can import and export all the settings the third column is search which is related to the uh, search facility of uh, e-commerce stores you can set keywords you can add stop keywords stop keywords are those keywords which are not taken by the server like uh, the abusive words and other things and you can also add suggestions like if someone is typing uh, uh, two three letters you can suggest him like uh, what with the uh, full searching keyword like uh, for f u r you can suggest a furniture and the second last column of this section is online marketing in this section you can configure campaigns promotions and uh, coupon codes and these all the marketing things in this section so i will be discussing this point of view in a in a specific video and uh, other uh, option is analytics where you can just uh, add the seo keywords you can just generate the traffic reports you can create all the uh, purchase related reports catalog related reports in this section i will be covering this section also in a specific video and the last thing is site preferences in this section you can just configure the baskets which is a card object 
cart object like uh, how uh, you can just configure and add the entities and attributes to cart you can also configure the currency related settings and search preferences related settings order object related settings like uh, you want to configure uh, uh, what with the uh, auto generated order number in this order se uh, section and you can also add too many uh, and configure all the site specific or uh, set different settings in this site preferences i will be covering this option in a specific video also so let's forward with the second option which is administration so in this administration section uh, we have specific uh, options which are directly related to the administrating the site like we can do in the code replications means copying and backup a code of the uh, of the site and also you can create rules permissions users and also create FTP connections which is web dev connections and uh, you can create different rules from here in this specific sites option you can just create new store and update existing store settings and uh, and also uh, add uh, in CDN settings in this section the third column is site development in this section you can create different system objects uh, uh, the different system objects like card, checkout, customer address, these are the system related objects. You can configure and add different option, uh, options in it and also you can create custom error pages, uh, uh, custom maintenance pages and all the things in this section. You can also import and export a specific store from one sandbox to uh, another sandbox by using the import and export option here. The fourth column is global preferences. In this section, you can just uh, do all the preferences related settings like locales, security, uh, you can uh, add local store data and you can also do settings about the sequence numbers of the, uh, the customers of the order. Like uh, you want to customize the order number which can be a store like a store 11101 for the first order 11102 for the second order so you can also customize here in the sequence number settings so there you can see all there are uh, too many options of import export and all the things which will be we will be covering in the next video and the last option is operations operations is the section where a developer can uh, schedule create task and cron schedules to import and export files like you are using a third party which where in which you are uh, using the feed like you want to send some catalog feed for the promotion of uh, your products in third party website so you can just create different type of schedules here and different type of cron's here you can do a different type of import and export facilities and also you can add some encryption keys to use the utilize the services and all the things and also you can do all the geolocation ip based settings here which will will be uh, will be covering in the next videos the predictive intelligence is the option here which is also added by the uh, which is also provided by the salesforce commerce cloud to predict the recommendations like uh, it now uh, it supports the real time recommendations like if a pers person is trying to uh, buy a product it will show some real time recommendations to him so these are all the options of the business manager and at last you can see an option here storefront storefront is a, a front end of the uh, of the store which we are configuring like it's a site genesis store so if we click the storefront it will open the front end of the e-commerce store so it's loading let it load and i will just tell you you see so it is the front end of the store which we were uh, checking this uh, which we which we are doing the different settings here so if you do any of the settings and any of the changes in these option it will directly reflect the store front of the current site so you can see this is a full fledged e-commerce demo where you there are the all the categories there is a search prediction uh, keyword section where we can do the uh, specific products and item search here are the store locator icon this is the my account icon 
and uh, this one is the cart icon you can just navigate it here are the different sections of uh, social media connects and different custom and static pages links so you see it's registered uh, by the salesforce so i will be covering the specific customizations of front end in the further videos so this was the uh, introduction of the basic introduction of the business managers of uh, salesforce commerce cloud now let's move to the third chapter so the third chapter is commerce cloud tutorials development with eclipse and ux studio so if you uh, want to customize the store by coding levels like you want to customize some ui custom uh, ui uh, pages like you want to customize a production uh, product page catalog page or anything related to the coding so you can connect the code by uh, by a plugin called ux studio which is the official uh, plugin to integrate into eclipse and you can just uh, customize the salesforce commerce cloud store so if you want to uh, st uh, start the development first you have to install this ux studio plugin in the in the eclipse so here are the steps for installing you just first install the eclipse mars and neon as you know this is the previous version of eclipse but these are the standard and it it it, it is supported by the ux studio means these are the official version which can which are supported by the ux studio plugin so just install the U, uh, eclipse mars or neon and you can just uh, uh, initiate the initia, uh, the installing of ux studio so here is the link of the ux studio i will mention this in comments so you can just copy and uh, copy and uh, use uh, this link to install the ux studio so first go to the eclipse here you can see the eclipse i have already installed the plugin but later if you want to uh, add this plugin this will be not present uh, when you open the eclipse so just go to the help options here you see there is an option install new software you just have to click this option and in this option you just get a panel to add a new specific plugin so you just have to add a name here let's suppose we we say is the uh, ux studio okay and just copy paste this link which i will which i will uh, mention in the uh, uh, description and just press the ok button now it will try to uh, connect to the salesforce uh, section to download the plugin so you have to wait for it once it is shown here now uh, then you can proceed with the finish you see it is just showing the salesforce commerce cloud plugin the ux studio for eclipse neon so you just have to select this and initiate the initiate the uh, the installation now i have already installed this extension so i am not proceeding with it but you have to complete this section and it will be installed once the plugin is installed you will get the option of digital development in the project type selection now you can select the digital development in this section to start the salesforce commerce cloud development once you select you can just start for the new connection to the server we have the plugin now we can connect to a specific uh, salesforce commerce cloud server so you just have to click new option and just go to the digital server connection this section will allow you to connect to a server and then after you can add update or delete files to that specific salesforce commerce cloud server so you have to create a new digital server connection and here you can write any specific name for it like if you have a server named dev1 you can just write here dev1 or any specific project name here the uh, the server host name will be mentioned 
uh, which we have to purchase or take because it's not a open source so once you get the server host name username and password you can just connect to that server like i have connected a server which i have so you can see let me tell you uh, the options which is here is the option of digital server where you can just add all the password and all the settings here so once uh, you have connected to the server you can just do the develop you can just start the development you can also import a demo cartridge cartridge is the module uh, in the salesforce commerce cloud cartridge is just a collection of uh, all uh, all the folders uh, the architecture of the architecture of the salesforce commerce cloud which i will be explaining in the next video so you can just start uh, you can just create a new site genesis storefront cartridge here and i can just start the basic coding here you will get all the options to create a cartridge create a site genesis storefront or create a business manager extension so this was all about uh, the basic of the salesforce commerce cloud and uh, we have covered three topics like uh, we have uh, we got the introduction of the salesforce commerce cloud then we got to know the basics of the business manager which i covered all the options uh, which uh, which will be the uh, completed briefly in the next videos for that please subscribe my channel and we have also uh, uh, tried to uh, connect the eclipse to the uh, uh, to the sfcc server so that we are able to add and update all the files which are present on the server so this was all about the first introduction of the salesforce commerce cloud please subscribe my channel so and keep updated about the further videos in which we will cover cover all the business manager options and all the uh, and and start the basic coding on the salesforce commerce cloud thank you so much thank you so much for my uh, for watching my video